So welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 video today And so today is definitely the day that Rosita here gets to leave someone at the altar But the good part about this and also the sad part is that that Eliza Thornberry or gen 1 She has one day to live and so hopefully she will be alive to see her only daughter Get married and then also leave some of the altar and crush their dreams and hopefully drop dead too but anyway, like I said, Malcolm Landgraf is going to be the suitor of the day's part of getting married. They are actually already engaged because I did that off camera because I didn't want them. I didn't want anyone to like drop dead before the wedding. It was not going to happen. So as of right now for Jamal, he has three days to live. But as for Eliza, she has one day, which is literally hopefully not hopefully. I actually I hope it's not today because if it's today, I'm going to like literally cry. Like, I'm not mentally or, like, I'm not mentally or emotionally prepared for that at all. Because we've seen her grow up as a person, as an evil, vindictive, soulless, happiness, wonderful mother that she is. And she's, she's just my pride and joy. And I love her. And it's going to be sad to see her go. So as of right now, I'm just having them all doing their daily little task things right now. But the good part, I actually gave Jen 3 her own brand new bedroom that I decorated on a speed build to well, actually, no, yesterday, if you guys did not see that yesterday, I will leave the link down below for you guys to watch it, because I think I did a pretty much good job on this room. There's a, there's a lot of yellow in this room. Actually, you know, yellow here, yellow there, yellow all around. It's, it just makes sense. And I went ahead and actually gave Gen 3 back her science experiment table, just so she can have it as she grows as a child to boost up her mental skill, because for her schooling, she needs to get to level four in one of her skills. And actually, that is part of her mental skill that I do. Oh, cool. She's actually almost there. Hmm. Yeah, so her mental skill is going to be her level four that she's going to be working on a lot more often as she gets older. And so now she can go ahead and Sunny can get better modules from playing as a risk make games on the computer and also can now create health potions in this. Ooh, health potions. Ooh, let's try that. Ooh, health potion. Oh, I'm doing that later. I am definitely doing that later. But I actually left, Um, I said in the video yesterday on my speed build. If I should keep Sunny as a vampire, and a lot of you guys actually said I should, but some of you guys said I should, I shouldn't, just because it wouldn't make sense for this type of let's play or this challenge. But I feel like keeping her as a vampire would be kind of good for her since she's uh, gonna be a loner anyway. And I feel like if she's gonna be a loner, she's gonna be inside a lot away from people. But we'll see how that all works. So go ahead and leave in the comments below. Should I keep Gen 3 as a vampire or should I cure her cure her when she becomes a teenager? Because I really want to leave, I want to get your guys input on this Let's Play and a lot of like, like, you know, knowledge and stuff like that, you know? I want to get you guys involved. And so I want to know what your ideas are. Why did you break the sink, child? <sighs> so this is why we cannot have nice things in this house, in the entire house. You know what? Replace it. And so whenever Jen, actually, whenever Eliza actually dies, oh, so cute. So whenever Eliza actually dies, I want to have Gen 3. I want to, I want to adopt our very own pet for the family just because I feel like it would be kind of cool to have one. And plus, I think it's going to be kind of cool just to, just, you know, have a pet in the house and just like do things with and take for walks and go to the vet clinic and just do all sorts of random fun things with them. And so... Right now, what we're going to do is going to boost up their, all their energy here because that's what they need to do. Boost up your energy. You're fine. So let's go ahead and get ourselves ready for the wedding. It's 1 p.m. We're going to probably only have ourselves have the wedding and then we'll probably go to Brindlin Bay, do some like fun activities, see what's around there. Might go to that one dead grass island, whatever that's called. But let's go ahead and plan a social event. Today we're only gonna invite our immediate, like our own, our only our family because the other ones, um, <laughs> yeah, they're mostly in a relationship or they're probably like they're probably like our relationship actually. So where's the wedding? The wedding's right here. So invite Sims, yes, bride and groom, yes, those two wonderful people, and we're gonna invite our mother, father, daughter. Mm. Ooh, yeah, a lot of lovers here, a lot and a lot of lovers in this place. Where's our son? Cosmo, we're going to invite you, Paisley, our sister, Shmew, and, ooh, I just, you know, I'll just invite over just our, our family, 
because the other ones are just clones and I don't love them at all. But we're gonna invite over those people. We're gonna go up to that venue. We don't really need a. Ooh, wait, hold up. We need a cake. We need a cake first. I forgot about that. You know, so Jamal, since you are already so handy in the cooking department here, let's go to have you cook up ourselves a nice, wonderful white cake for our wedding, for your only daughter's wedding that you might not get to see unless you, no, she probably will. Unless you just die from a heart attack or exhaustion. Either way, you'll see your daughter's wedding either way. So I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm just glad. I'm glad. But for Eliza here, I'm just, I just, I'm going to, like, watch her very, very close. Like, seriously, it's going to be, like, death or die. Wait, why are you... Don't think about family members. That's just rude. You have a daughter right here that loves you. But, you know, seriously, get your act together. So, Rosita here, let's going to have you work on... Let's update your status. We're going to upload a viral video. Why not? And we're going to start searching for some information on vampires. Because I feel like if we're going to keep Sunny as a vampire, she might as well learn about vampirism and vampires in general just to keep her daughter alive and help her anyway. And I think that will help her a lot. But the good part about this, the Road to Fame on actually updated. And so we can do like the modeling thing right here. And also we can get our own personal assistant. I'm like... That's pretty cool, and I want to explore that in this Let's Play with Rosita, but also help... Oh my gosh, we have 3 million Instagram followers, or 3 million followers on our social media. That's cool. I like that. So we love... We're, ooh, we're trending. I like that. So we are at level 1 of our wonderful vampire secret. So now Rosita is definitely deep into researching vampires. Awesome. So now that we have our cake, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves ready for this wedding today. So plan social event. Come on. You know it. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. That's one of Roy's um, sound commands on her stream. I love that. <laughs> Roy's cool. Okay. Wedding event. Come on. Let's go. Let's get married and leave some of the altar because I got plans today. No. No. Oh, gosh. Not you. Where is our son? Daughter. There we go. Awesome. Caterer. We don't really need one, really. You know, we're just gonna have to, you know, we're gonna get him exalted too, because why not? You know, you gotta drink it up, so, you know, drown your sorrows in drinking juice. How lovely. So, where is this, where is the wedding venue I placed? I have a lot of things. Where did I place it at? No. That's a lounge. No. Oh, wait, where? Oh, it might be down here. That's, oh, here it is. Okay, generic lot. Awesome. So, this is pretty great. I'm excited to actually do all this fun stuff. Get, like basically quote unquote get married but also leave someone at the altar because I pr I think I've only done it once in my entire life because I remember doing it in my Black Widow challenge a long time ago and I think that this is like my second time doing it because I, I don't normally leave people at the altar when I play like, like a let's play or doing something else like that but here we are Ooh, look at that look at Liza look at Liza Ooh, snazz it mm. snazz snazz off blonde eyebrows, you old bat. Um, we got plays. Ooh, hey, Rosita, how lovely. We got Paisley here. We got our wonderful daughter here. Oh, she's so sad. Oh, who's that? Jamal, in the back of his head. Lovely. So we got our immediate. Oh, and there's Cosmo. Cosmo, I love you. Where's Wanda? Um, so we have our wonderful wedding arch here. We have a mixology table. Got a piano too. Got a cooking. Oh. So we have pro we probably have just cooked ourselves up here. You know, it's fine. It is definitely fine. But we're going to go ahead and fantasize about wedding. Wait, marrying a sim in, in your employee would be inappropriate. Dismiss them in your role. Are you serious? Really? A few moments later. Okay, so I fixed the issue. It was resolved. I fixed everything. I'm kind of glad it got fixed. So what I had to do was I had to basically clear out every single relationship, like romantic relationship with everyone that Rosita knew romantically, even Melvin. And so she has no romantic interest besides Malcolm, which he's going to probably drop dead anyway. But like I said, I don't really care at this point in time. Child, why? Who is this random? Who is he? A mailman? He is a mail carrier. How interesting. But we're going to go ahead and actually fantasize about weddings because I think they're pretty cool. And I put Rosita in her proper wedding attire because this one was a little bit better. I like this one. It's my favorite one. Who spent 12 millions? And they're drinking already on at 3, three in the afternoon. What the heck? And this lady is bald. Dang. Who are you? 
Reagan Pizzazz. Well, you know, your weave got snatched real hard because your mother was like, I don't know this child at all. But we're going to go ahead and start, you know, thanking our guests before they drop dead. So thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, father and mother. I love you both. Stop. Oh, our sister. Oh, our sister. Thank you for coming, sister. I want to get at least like a gold wedding or silver wedding at least so I can have like somewhat of an accomplishment and somewhat of happiness. They're like, okay, it's my last drink before I pass away. Better make it worth wild. That's right, Liza. Drink it up. Anyway, so why is she flirty? Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. But let's go ahead and get ourselves married to Malcolm Landgrab right away. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay, he's, he's like, okay, here we go. Let's get married. She has to pee really bad, but it's okay. It's fine. Oh no, we're going to boost up your bladder. Can I leave on the altar yet? No, I'm going to have to wait until they like, I think they have to wait until I do their vows. Can I leave them at the altar yet, please? Wait, do I do it this way? Oh, right here. Call, call off wedding. Call off wedding. Stop. Stop. Call off wedding. You're not marrying him. Call off wedding. Please. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Call off wedding. Call off wedding. Where's that? No. <gasps> I have a second chance. Oh, oh. Get married to Malcolm. Come on, let's go. Do it again. I have a second chance. Oh, this is so great. Can I leave you yet? Call off wedding. Call off wedding. Come on. Call off wedding. Yeah, that's right. I don't love you no more. You a piece of balls. Oh, you call me trash. That's right. Trash. Trash. I love how I was like playing romantic music and she's like basically divorcing him. I love it. How cute. Who's watching? <gasps> they actually sit down and watch the wedding. Oh, how lovely. It's like, my daughter is so ruthless, just like me. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Same mother, same. I love you too. And so we're gonna go ahead and go hire a service. Oh, it actually comes here. I forgot. Hire a service. Come on, as long as you can do it. <gasps> oh my gosh, our first pet. We're gonna adopt a dog. We're doing it. We're doing it. <gasps> yes, pictures. I'm gonna get pictures today. Oh, how cute. I love them all. I love them all. So cute. I love them. So let's gonna take a photo of Gen 3. Yes, take a photo of Gen 3. <gasps> oh, yes. So we can adopt to three dogs and we're going to, it's going to be a female dog. But all these dogs look so cute. <gasps> Booger. Oh, but he's a male though. I want a female dog because, you know, Eliza makes sense. Oh. <gasps> squee. Why can't, oh, no, no, if it's a female dog, I'm going to make it squee. Squee must be a girl. Sprayed. Oh, Gracie. Mm, yes. But I'm, I'm going to name her Eliza. I'm going to name that dog Eliza. So, oh my gosh. If this is not the most cutest pose I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, Gen 3 could not be any more cuter. Mm. I love her so much. She's just adorable. I just, you guys, if you have not done the Not So Very Challenge already, I highly suggest that you do it now because it's so much fun. Why are you running? Oh, you have to pee. Oh, that's right. Go pee. Run like the wind, child. Run like the wind. Ah, uh, so here is the wonderful... Where's the thing? Oh my gosh, look at little... Oh, look at our little pet. Where does it go? Oh, look at our little pet. Look at... Oh, look at that, our first little pet. Oh, so cute. I love it. Oh, so cute. Gracie the pup. We're going to go and adopt it. Come on, let's go. Let's go ahead. Adopt it. Adopt puppy. Yay. Yes, I want to adopt it. Yes. <gasps> Crazy. So we're going to name it Eliza. Eliza Thornberry. Because why not? Because Thornberry. Yes. Adoption completed. <gasps> Yay. So it's so cool. Congratulations. You have added a pet to your household. <sighs> oh, I want pictures. I want pictures. Oh, Eliza and Eliza. Oh, how adorable. Mm. It just gets cuter and cuter every single day. So cute. So adorable. I love it all. Pride and joy. So cute. Anyway, so now that we have that out the way. Oh, what adorable little pet. But the f the crazy part that we have to actually drag, well, basically carry down the pet downstairs to put into the bed. But what I don't like about the pet beds is that they're so flat. We need more of a cushion. 
Oh no, we're gonna. We need to. Um, where, where did, where? Oh, Eliza, Eliza. I'm like, where do you go? Let's go and take a photo of our little pet because we can actually Instagram our pet. <gasps> we're gonna, we're gonna Instagram because we want this pet to be Instagram famous. Where to go? But oh my, oh right here. Let's just twirl it around. Twirl it. It's all the way over here. Seriously, wow. If it could not be any more further. Fine, it's fine. But let's go ahead and do this right here. We're gonna go ahead and walk over here. We're gonna have to Instagram my pet this way. If I can do it this way, I, I think I can. Oh, no, it's the same position. Same position. You know, it's fine. Go, can we zoom in? Oh, we can zoom out and zoom in. Take a picture like that. Let's see what happens. How many, how many followers? 21 Instagram followers. How adorable. I love it. So cute. Oh gosh, what happened to his eyes? Eliza, your eyes. What? Oh, your eyes were up in your head the whole time. But so cute. I love it. Oh, <laughs> my heart. So adorable. So, so adorable. Okay, Instagram the pet one more time. We can do it. I'm going to take a nice, good photo of the pet right now, right here. Come on, Sonny, you can do it. <gasps> there we go. Right there, right between the legs. Right between the legs. Oh, yes. So, 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 so cute. But anyway, so, oh, it's gain. Ooh, how many do we have now? Reward. So, Eliza's gonna. Oh, it's getting attention. 21. <gasps> oh, so cute. So, what I went ahead and actually already did is I went ahead and transferred all of Eliza's things, you know, the human Eliza. All the way to a Sunny's inventory, just so we can have all like the alien stuff, the elements, the the cloning the machine, just all the other stuff that we can actually have. So I think that kind of be better for us. Oh, we need to a buy. We need to buy a a pet bowl for Eliza here, because Eliza needs some food. Let's go and get a pet bowl. Let's go and get a pet bowl, pet bowl, and some pet toys actually. But where is that? We're gonna get the automatic feeder because I feel like that's a little bit easier for us. So you don't have to, like, you know, fill it every now and then. But let's do it right here. Change the color to this color right there. Fits the theme. Loving it. My faves. Awesome. So we're going to have to set this to a timer to every three hours. And we're going to fill the bowl right now. So, Sunny, fill the bowl. <gasps> yes, the sense of responsibility. I love it. So, and she's like, um, and who is this? What is this child? Oh, Exco Potty, since again, the fair <gasps> offer oh, friendship, road of fame. Oh, so uh, adorable. Oh, is it eating? Where'd it go? No, where's that? It's right here. Aw. Where, where's Eliza? Eliza's still here sleeping. Oh, pet fears. No pet is truly fear fearless. Even Eliza. Each pet has its own unique fears. So watch your pet to discover what it spooks them. <gasps> oh my gosh. So, Eliza, let's go ahead and have you go ahead and walk the dog. Oh, walk Eliza. Please, just walk Eliza. I want you to walk Eliza. Wait, can we actually walk Eliza? <gasps> oh, so adorable. It's under the bed. So adorable. Love it. So it's going to take for a walk. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, go talk to Eliza, Eliza. Come on, let's go and talk to Eliza. Uh, no. The, why? Why does this happen to me? I don't understand. If he comes back dead, I'm going to be livid. <sighs> I just don't understand why. Just why? Eliza, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? We're going get, to get to know you. Let's get to know you a little bit more before you drop dead. Um, friendly. Can we take for your, take for a walk? Pet care. Take. Oh, give bath. Yes, give him a bath. Give Eliza a bath. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Yeah. Oh. How cute. So Eliza just became friends with Eliza. Oh, she became friends with herself. How? Now that's what I call adorable. I like that. I hope that you know this random Joker doesn't come back. You know, pregnant. Oh, you feel great. Aliens, awesome, been, being adopted. Hmm. MC, pregnancy. Okay, good. You're not pregnant. Because I'm like, if you were pregnant again, I would have been livid. 
Don, why are you here? You're a vampire. Leave my house immediately. More choices. Some commands. Show dog form. Back. Um, cheats. Make some leave. Bye-bye. See you later, Don. I don't care. Talk the hand, and I'm going to talk to you anyway. Let's go inside. Oh, you're giving him a bath. Oh, how cute. Does it shake? Does it shake? Oh, it shakes too. Oh, it's like little doggy, get out of here. Wait, why are you upset? A widow. No! 20 minutes later. No! What the heck just happened? I am legit crying. What the? No! Did she just. What? The... what? No! How did she die? Where's the. Where's her grave? Oh no, where's her grave? <gasps> no! Grim didn't even come to. I have nothing. I have nothing to remember Eliza. Except this wonderful dog, Eliza Thornberry. Oh my. No! I was not. I'm telling you, I was not ready for that. She literally just disappeared. What the heck? So now he's a freaking widower. Fruit things are sadder than even a spouse or separate by death. No. No, from old age. Where's her freaking urn? I want her urn so badly. I was not ready for that. <sighs> oh, my. Ooh. Okay, let's just delete that. I don't need that anymore. Oh, my goodness. You guys, I'm upset. Oh, my God. <sighs> Okay, let's you know, just, gonna, just, just calm down a little bit. Let's calm down. Oh, we have our pictures too. Okay, good. We have pictures. Oh, er, I think everything that was in Eliza's inventory ended up in our our inventory. Oh, good. So we have this. This is so cute. Oh, so, so cute. Is that normal quality? It is. Oh, that is just so adorable. But not adorable. I'm upset. Oh, my gosh. I'm so upset. Oh, we're going to engrave it. I do No. I told you I wanted to no, know. That is upsetting. Oh, it's like, oh, oh, how, oh, how I love, well, no, I'm going to say just, you know, loved you so much. You will be missed. Oh, my gosh. Upsetting. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to wrap up this part right here. So, I hope you guys very much enjoyed this part as much as I did. Let me think down in the comments below, as always. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. But hashtag, I'm legit upset, sad, and shooketh. Le legit shooketh.